We're here today at Beaver Waterworld in Tatsfield, Kent. Beaver Waterworld is a small reptile rescue centre and zoological garden with a special twist. That twist being that every animal you see here has been rescued and rehomed. This could be for various reasons, such as the RSPCA have taken the animal from an owner. The animal is unwanted by the owners. The animal has grown to be a bigger size than expected. Or even another zoological garden cannot afford the upkeep of the animal or need to rehome them as they're closing. I'm Stella Quayle. Um, I'm the direct curator of uh, Beaver Water World uh, Rescue Centre, Animal Rescue Centre, at Tatsfield, near Westrum in Kent. Beaver Water World was founded as a charity in 1997 by its curator, Stella. Stella has had many years of dealing with exotic animals before she found herself setting up the charity. We asked Stella, what gave you the idea to start the charity? To start rescuing wasn't really my idea. The animals came to us and we didn't really have any choice. Um, we became a charity because we um, needed to be able to fundraise. And um, the only way you can do it legally, um, rattling cans and various other things, uh, and is by becoming a, a registered charity. Stella has various different ways to raise money and also the profile of the centre. We asked her to give us a little idea of what the charity does to raise the money that's so important in the upkeep of the centre and of course looking after the animals. We have a visitor charge which is quite, quite a low, I feel, quite a low charge to come in and visit and have a look round. We also um, do our own fundraising and um, we do birthday parties for the children with the animal handling and everything. We do animal, small animal boarding. Um, I sell my paintings occasionally and that goes into the charity as well. At the moment we are Sainsbury's preferred charity of the year, uh, our local Sainsbury's at Wallingham. And we rattle cans in various places where we think people will feel sorry for us. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of different activities and can be very time consuming whilst trying to look after all the animals. At any one time, the centre has around 400 animals in its care, ranging from ring-tailed lemurs to Colin the Cayman Crocodile. Colin was found in a garage after being neglected for nearly three months. He was so ill that the person who took him to Stella at Beaver Waterworld literally chucked a towel over him and picked him up. Beaver Water World is a special little place that looks after reptiles, birds and some exotic mammals. One of their most famous attractions was Big Boy the Alligator, who sadly passed away in 2006. Big Boy was 12 feet in length and was spending a quiet retirement at Beaver Water World after notoriously appearing in the James Bond film, Live and Let Die. He's been stuffed and placed on display in the birthday room, along with one of their oldest Canadian beavers newest attraction to try and entice visitors to come from afar to pay the small entrance fee and see all the animals on offer are three fun-loving meerkats that have been built their own special enclosure. Even though the meerkats want to be centre stage, nothing can be taken away from the amazing enclosures built for all of the lizards and iguanas in the reptile house. Beaver Waterworld are trying to create near natural conditions in peaceful and secure surroundings no reptiles will ever be taken from the wild as there are sufficient numbers existing in captivity, however many are not in breeding situations. Tortoises and turtles are popular creatures with the visitors as the shapes of their shells and different array of patterns they have on their backs can be very aesthetically pleasing. However the unfortunate problem is there are more and more each year being brought to the centre as people buy them from small pet shops not realising how big certain species can grow or have been sold a tortoise being told it will only grow so big and have clearly by the size of some here have been misinformed. As the reptile zoo is called Beaver Waterworld you would expect the beavers to be the main attraction to the park however being nocturnal the beavers can only really be seen in late summer when they'll be busy preparing for the cold winter months which is ironic for the centre as it's in the long cold winter months that Beaver Waterworld is most active, which Stella will elaborate on. So we usually try to either do lots of refurbishing of the old enclosures because they're quite 
um, ancient, some of them, you know, and they need upgrading. Um, so we spend most of the winter doing that, building, deciding what, you know, what direction to go in for the next season. This small site in Tatsfield has a unique feel to it that helps it stand out from the normal zoological parks or safari parks in the fact that they have such a wide range of animals on display for the public to see. Also, because they're a small site, it's easy to get round and see everything. And also, the site is open all year round, which means if we do get an odd nice day of weather, you can just nip down to the centre for an hour or two and have a nice wander around. Being a small centre with a lot of rescued animals coming in, we asked Stella if they were looking to expand the site to be able to help look after the vast numbers of rescued animals being brought here. Unfortunately, we can't. I am looking to um, probably find somewhere fairly close, if I could, as close to here as I could possibly find, to be able to extend our facilities. But uh, unfortunately, we're not allowed to extend the um, enclosures on this site which is a, a shame really because I, you know, I've got loads of brilliant ideas. With them currently being unable to expand the site, rehoming is a big target of Beaver Waterworlds. However, sometimes trying to find suitable homes for these exotic animals can be a huge problem as they need so much care and attention. We asked Stella how successful they are at rehoming animals. Uh, it's difficult to be able to um, not put the animals back into the similar condition uh, situation that they've come out of and you have to make sure and find that the, the, the people that you're going to rehome to are suitable people that will keep long term because don't forget the reptiles particularly have quite a good length of life you're looking at 12 14 16 sometimes 18 years and with snakes it's even longer i could probably rehome more than i do but I do try to make sure that they go to the right places. As you can imagine, running a charity of this type, there was a lot of work to be done in looking after the animals and on the centre itself. So we asked Stella if she finds herself with much spare time at all. And if she does, what does she do? I like to paint, um, but generally speaking, I'm more playing with the animals. I don't know really, there's just so many animals to look, for, look after and care for and enjoy. So uh, I tend to do more of that. And obviously there's, there's still the office work to do, you know, and the charity to run, so we've got to do something. Uh... With it being a long, stressful job with very little time off, I'm sure you can imagine it's more of a chore than a pleasure to put the amount of effort into the running of the centre and the looking after of all the animals and enclosures. So we asked Stella, even though it's a stressful job, do you enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I could do it unless I did. Yeah, it's good. Um, can be very stressful. But um, yeah, there's lots of there's lots of ups and downs, but mainly ups. <laughs> According to the Pet Food Manufacturers Association, in 2012 it was estimated that 13 million households had at least one pet. That's a staggering 48%. In total, there were around 67 million pets in the UK. Trading Economics said that in January 2012, there were just under 63 million people living in the UK. In September 2012, the Telegraph said the population was growing by a thousand a day, which, if true, means today in 2013 there are actually more pets in the UK than there are people. Calculating the PFMA's research, there are roughly 63.7 million domestic animals in the UK, meaning that 3.3 million pets in the UK are non-domestic, otherwise known as exotic animals. The reason places like Beaver Waterworld are around are to look after these 3.3 million exotic animals if they end up being unwanted or neglected by their owners. <laughs>